Hello class, so I wanted to make a quick video on how to log into Electude. Electude is our textbook that we use in the automotive program. So let's go ahead and look at this. We have Google open here. Let me switch over. So we got Google here. Uh, it's really simple. All we got to do is go to the link in Google Classroom, which is utweber dot electude dot com it has a link in google classroom so it makes it quick and easy all you do is you click on student and then it's going to ask you for your username okay i created a new account just to show how to do this so your username is the first part of your email so everything up to the at symbol okay your temporary password is one two three four five six seven eight and then we click ok it's going to ask you uh, it's up to you if you want to save it it's going to ask you if you want to uh, go through this you can say yes I agree and now you have to come up with your new password make it simple so I because I can't look it up okay so I'm just going to go ahead and put in a simple password. Oops, messed up. Oh, it won't let me use the same one. Okay. Your account password has been changed. Okay, here comes up the basic information. Make sure it has your email address, first name, last name, your preferred language. Yes, it can do multiple languages. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And here we go. So this is your screen. What you'll see right here is content for small vehicle repair. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. Our first assignment is on micrometers, micrometers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you have your assignment and a quiz the assignment you can do as many times as you want but the quiz only lets you do it once so be aware of that so do this one multiple times so we'll just go ahead and quickly quickly open this up and here we go you cannot advance on anywhere it says right here which tool can be used to measure the thickness of objects to an accuracy of one to a hundred of a millimeter and if you ever need the answer it's up here right at the top so and there we go now this little arrow pops up and I can go to the next question okay how many centimeters are in one meter okay and this stuff is once again is up here so when you get through each of these you have three pages of questions so this qu page had four questions and the next one i don't know and i don't know okay if you need it read to you that's this little button right here and it will read introduction to you. a micrometer is a tool that can be used to accurately measure the thickness or diameter of an object most micrometers can measure to an accuracy of one slash one hundred of a millimeter millimeters or ten micrometers micrometers okay so there we go and then if you have any questions here's how it goes through all this other stuff okay if you're done you can click on this little back arrow and you can see right now I have four percent correct and I've only progressed this far now if I let's go ahead and start the module again and I'm gonna go 10 oh 100 oh finally I got that one right okay oh I don't know let's go one no 10 no oh so I got there okay uh one no hundred ten no nope. a hundred no nope. a thousand no nope. oh there we go a thousand and now I got this little arrow I can move on to the next question okay so if I go back the it shows right here in red how many times I kind of just guessed at it okay but I've only progressed 26 percent of the assignment and I've correct about 12 times 12 percent of the time I've only spent a minute on it. 
This assignment should take you more than five minutes. Okay? Once you've completed that and you feel comfortable, you can start the quiz. Remember, once, that's all you get, it's one time. Okay? So, I don't think there's any other questions. If you do, just reach out through email or Google Classroom, which emails me too, uh, on how to get through Canvas, or not Canvas, but through this uh, modules. This is due on Tuesday at 1.45, so at the end of school. So please get it done. It is homework. Uh, these classes do have homework assignments in them. You'll start seeing them in all of them. So, all right. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend, and I will see you back at school on Tuesday.